this whole Instagram, adding an admin, adding someone to your Instagram so they can manage your Instagram, whatever, all that, connecting Instagram, it's a headache. Should be simpler than it is. Unfortunately, it's just kind of not that way right now, but I'm gonna simplify it as much as possible in this video and show you how to add admins to your Instagram page. The very first thing that I recommend is that you set up a Facebook business manager account. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's basically just one account in which you can house a bunch of different people, a bunch of different pages, a bunch of different ad accounts, a bunch of different pixels, a bunch of different Instagram pages, Facebook pages. If you're going to be doing ads, Instagram accounts, and especially if you're going to be doing more than just one, or if there's a chance you might be, just save yourself the time, the energy, the, the headache, and just right now set up a Facebook Business Manager account, start to get familiar with it, start to use it, start to get to know it. Uh, and I've made some videos on how to set up a Facebook Business Manager account. I've made tutorials on how to use Facebook Business Manager. By the way, it's completely free to set up and use. If you're inside your Business Manager, click any, wherever you're at, just click on this top menu up here and click into your business settings. That'll bring you to this page, and this is where you're going to be able to do all of the adding and removing of people, accounts, pages, pixels, etc. All that good stuff happens inside of your business settings, inside of your business manager. So the left column here, you'll see we've got all these different options and the different drop down menus. So if I click on users, this is where you can add people and partners. I'm gonna go through this again in a second, but just to quickly walk you through this, accounts, is where you're gonna have your pages and your ad accounts and your Instagram accounts, which we're gonna to click to in just a second. Under data sources is where you're gonna find pixels, catalogs, and then the last thing in this column that's super relevant for this video is this request tab right here. So let's just keep this as simple as possible right now and say it's your Facebook business manager, you just want to add your Instagram account to it. So just come up here under the account section. I'm gonna close this and click on Instagram accounts. Click on the blue add button. And like it said over here, to add an Instagram business account to your business manager, you must have the username and password for the account. So that's why right here it's forcing us to, if we click on connect your Instagram account, it's forcing us to put in the username and password or you can use the login with Facebook option. Now I know there's two questions that I need to address here. Number one, but what if I'm trying to add my client's Instagram account to my business manager so I can work on or run ads with their Instagram account? Do I have to have their username and password and do they have to share that with me and I have to log in and add it that way? And then the other question is, what if I'm trying to share my Instagram account to somebody else's business manager so that they can you know, work on running ads on my Instagram account or whatever. So question number one, let's say you're trying to get your client's Instagram account into your Facebook business manager so you can work on some Instagram stuff for your client. You can't, unless you want to just grab their username and password, in which case that works. Um, if But if you're not gonna do that, then this blue ad button right here isn't gonna work for you. And it's different than, which is different than if you're just adding pages, right? Because if you're adding pages right here, if I click in the left column under pages and then come to this blue add button, you have the option to request access to a page, but you can't come down here into Instagram accounts. I don't know why, I feel like this should be the case, but it's not for whatever reason. You can't come down here and just request access to their Instagram account. So what I would recommend you do, and it's a little bit of a pain in the butt up front, but it does make things much easier moving forward in really any direction that things go moving forward for you and or your client. But I would recommend that you have your client set up a Facebook business manager account and come in here to Instagram accounts and they add their Instagram account using that blue add button right here under Instagram accounts. They add their own Instagram account to their own Facebook business manager. And then they come right here with their Instagram account selected and click on assign partners. And then they put your Facebook uh, partner business ID, your Facebook business manager ID right here. 
and that's how they assign you as a partner to their Instagram account. And then once they've done that, their Instagram account will show up right here in the Instagram account section of your Facebook business manager. And now when you go to run ads for them, you'll be able to select their Instagram account. Now you'll also want to make sure that you also get access to their Facebook page like Facebook instructed us right here. If your Instagram business account is linked to a Facebook page, you should add both their Facebook page and Instagram business accounts to the same business manager. And the way you do that is right here under accounts, click on pages and then click on add and then you'll just want to request access to their page. And you can simply just throw in their page name or URL right there and it'll come up just click it and then click request access and that will send a, a request to the owner of that Facebook page and oftentimes the owner of that Facebook page will be like I don't I didn't get an email a notification just have them navigate if into a, their Facebook business manager account to right here this request tab in their Facebook business manager click on request and right here they should see the invitation from you requesting access to their Facebook business page now again, this is why I recommend that both parties, both sides have a Facebook business manager account set up, if, especially if you're going to do some Instagram stuff. It's just going to make things a lot easier. A little bit more of a pain at the beginning, but moving forward, like I said, if you can, guys continue to work together, you've got everything synced really well. If, if something happens and you go different directions, well then they've already got a business manager account with all their stuff in it you don't own any of that so they don't have you don't have to work that out when you part ways or anything like that they own it and then uh, they if they decide to go to another ad agency or to another person then you know they can easily link their business manager account with those other people's business manager accounts instead of like you just actually having their username and password from the beginning and linking in and and linking their stuff into your Facebook business manager account that way and then they never actually own any of their own data or anything like that so that's why I recommend both sides have a Facebook business manager account set up. Okay, the only other thing that you're going to absolutely need to make sure that you do, uh, once you've added, say, your client's Instagram account into here, you'll just want to click on the Instagram account, make sure you have, have it selected. And this is for if you're running ads using their Instagram account, you'll come up here and click on Add Assets. And then you will need to select one of your ad accounts from right here and then add that ad account as an asset to this Instagram account. And then that's gonna give that ad account access to the Instagram account and allow you to run ads for and with that Instagram account through that ad account. And so since you have to connect it to that ad account, I'd also just to be safe and make sure this works, come up here to the ad account section and the ad account that you're adding, select that one and make sure that whoever you want to be running ads on that ad account with that Instagram has been added here as a person. And before you can add them here as a person, you need to make sure they're added up here under the user section. Click under people and you click on add. Right here is where you can add people and choose the different accesses that you're going to grant them. So to recap all that, if you're trying to do some Instagram work, run some Instagram ads for a client, and you want to add their Instagram account into your Facebook business manager, have them set up a Facebook business manager, add their Instagram account into their Facebook business manager, and then add your Facebook business manager account as a partner on their Instagram account inside their Facebook business manager. And then once that's done, you go inside your Facebook business manager, you go into the Instagram account section, and then you add one of your ad accounts as an asset onto this client's Instagram account that we just got access to. And then just make sure that you have whoever you want to run ads on that ad account, just make sure that you've added them as a person on that ad account. And in order for them to be a person there in the first place, you just have to add them as a, a general user on your Facebook Business Manager account in the first place. The second question that I said I was going to address, I kind of just did, I kind of answered it in that first question there, but um, if you're trying to share your Instagram account with an agency or somebody that's going to work on your account, run ads for you, etc., then what I do recommend is that you set up a Facebook Business Manager account, add your Instagram account to your Facebook Business Manager account, and then um, add as a partner whoever is going to be working on your Instagram account however you want to add as a partner add them as a partner on your Instagram account and that will give them access and the ability to run 
um, ads and work on your Instagram account that way. And also have a Facebook page and give them access to that Facebook page as well. And like I already mentioned, a little bit of a headache, you might have to go through a little bit of process of, you know, well, you will if setting up, if you don't already, setting up a Facebook business manager account and kind of learning a little bit about that. But, you know, use this video, it'll be helpful. But the, the I, what I think is the best thing that comes out of this for, for you is you own your data. It's all gonna be inside of your Facebook business manager account and you get to take that with you and own that and just you know if, like i said previously if things go different directions whatever it's yours it's there no other agency or anything else else like that owns it and that's the kind of the benefit of if you have a facebook your own facebook business manager account and just share out permissions and accesses and stuff like that instead of just handing over a login then um you know you you just you just get to keep all of that